quorum sensing is the mechanism bacteria use to communicate and act in groups. So bacteria are tiny, so they have trouble carrying out big tasks. So what they do is that they make and release molecules. They use those as words. And so as bacteria are in an environment, they're all releasing these molecules. They measure those molecules, and they use that as a proxy to know that there's other cells around. And then when they recognize those molecules are there, all of the bacteria in the environment will take on a behavior in unison. And so what they're doing with quorum sensing is talking to each other, counting each other, recognizing when they have the right number of cells that they should all do something as a group. So that's quorum sensing. And so the kinds of tasks that they carry out are virulence, the release of toxins, also beneficial bacteria, beneficial behaviors that keep us alive, but all kinds of behaviors that they need lots of cells acting in synchrony because the jobs are big and individually they're small. So that's quorum sensing. Now that we get the bacteria talk to each other and that they have to communicate to carry out lots of tasks, like for example, virulence, the idea is if we could make bacteria that can't talk or can't hear, those could be new kinds of therapeutics. And so I think there's a very applied side of the work, which is that we can make new medicines to combat harmful bacteria by making them stop talking to each other. And we can also make molecules that make beneficial bacteria communicate better in the hopes of making a healthier world.